Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Scythe, uh, played on Ultraviolence with Fast Monsters enabled. Maps uh, 16 to 20. Uh, let's get started by, you know, just trying not to die. That's usually the case. Um, okay, that didn't work. <laughs> let's try it again. Uh, this beginning of this map is kind of nasty. As it is with most most beginnings of maps in Scythe, with fast monsters that is. Okay, that Revenant killed the, the Imp, now I wanna make him kill the Chain Gunner by making them infight. There we go. Now I can hide here and snipe the Revenant. Uh, auto aim. There we go. Grab the armor, grab some health. Um, here I want to make the imps in fight the, the specters, one of them at least. Yeah, this map has a s slightly slight ammo problem in the beginning. Or not in the beginning, but like throughout the entire map pretty much. So it's best to try to save a little bit of ammo. Like nothing crazy, just make stuff in fight if you can. And I just got a low damage roll. Okay. Um, yeah, now... I wanna grab a, a rocket launcher first before I deal with the rest of this area. So I'm gonna jump down here. Uh, once you grab the blue, the blue skull key, these bars are going to lower. And there's a very annoying arch valve. It's gonna zap me, oh no. That's okay. Yeah, you can you can tank one one zap, or I could in this case. Uh, but it's very annoying because the archval is just desperate to zap you. I want to save rockets. I'm gonna grab these rockets here. Uh, if you stay a little bit far, the archvile can zap you. There's a there's a threshold distance. Okay. Ah, the Zims are so annoying. Okay. Uh, you know what, I'm, I think I'm gonna deal with this section now. Because then I can grab some health. So I'm gonna use rockets against these Kakos. And there's gonna be another nasty arch vial. So what I like to do here in this case is grab the gun, which is gonna reveal the, the arch file, then hide behind that pillar and run away. And now I wanna make the, the arch file come here. Oh and the The Revenant and the Hell Knight are in fighting. Or they were in fighting. I was very lucky. 
yeah, this is going well. And we have a, a nice little cemetery here. And uh, also a kind of church or something. Okay, so I'm gonna first hide behind this pillar. Then I'm gonna run to this pillar. And now I can safely kill the Archival. And I have a lot of ammo. I usually have almost no ammo in this part. That's what I have in my practice runs. But now I have ammo to spare. And I'm still going to make these guys in fight. Like that. Yeah, I have ammo to spare now. I have 100 cells. Oh, there's a monster blocking line death here? Oh no. No, there's no monster blocking line death. But it looked like as if there was. Uh, there's gonna be Revenants, just teleport and run away. Use Plasma. Only one enemy left, and it's of course an Archival. And there you go, that's Burial Grounds, map 16. And once again, of course, I'm pistol starting each of the maps. So let's go to the next one. And yeah, if you, if you watch any of my previous videos on Scythe, yeah, this is, this is getting harder and harder. Like the difficulty of the maps. Which is nice, I like it. That's what I'm here for. We have now Archviles kind of like regularly in the map, so I'm gonna spawn the Archvile here and just run away like that. And this part is a little bit annoying because. Sometimes the revenants they don't wanna come down here and of course I can't I can't show myself too much, otherwise the archfile is gonna zap me. Okay. So you have to kinda peekaboo like that. But this time the revenants Cooperated relatively well. Sometimes they they get stuck over there and they they don't want to come out. And now it's just a matter of peekaboo, peekaboo shooting, peekaboo the archfall. Um. Okay, thank you for dying. Grab some shells. Kill these two imps. And we're back here. This map is neatly neatly interconnected, I think. It brings you straight to the to the red door like that. Yeah, sometimes the imps teleport. I'm not even sure what's the trigger. And I ran out of shells. That doesn't usually happen. Did I miss a box of shells somewhere or something? That's weird. Um, 
Yeah, that's not very good. That's not very good at all. Am I missing something? No, this is awful. Oh boy. I never ran out of shells here. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I'm just thinning the herd a little bit here so I can have a, a better chance of surviving. Okay, there we go. I guess I should have... Oh, I can't go in? Um, I mean, I can't go back? That's fine. We're gonna go back in that main area soon enough. Oh, that was lucky. Okay, this part is also kind of dangerous. There's going to be two barons here. Uh, I'm going to kind of... Huh? Where are they? Uh, they didn't wake up because I didn't make a sound in this room? Is that it? Yeah! <laughs> I I didn't even know about this. Okay, new strat for this map. That's good. It's good to know. That is excellent. I honestly didn't know about this. It was just lucky. Um, okay, I take it. Oh yeah, this. The imps. Uh, there's gonna be revenants here. And I feel that these imps are gonna screw me over. Okay, let's just hope for the best. But I think there are no, no more imps here. You know, sometimes when you get hurt in, in Doom, it almost feels like you're getting hurt in real life. Doesn't it? At least I feel this way. It's like just now that Revan missile, I could, uh, could almost feel the... Um, I'm hearing Revenant somewhere, aren't I? Yeah. Where are they? I guess they're gonna teleport later? Uh, whatever. Uh, here's another archbow. But that's no big deal. Just don't miss your timing the flames it's a common mistake like to get out of cover too soon and once you cross uh, a line death here in this room uh this little step here is going to raise and you can just grab the supercharge for free like that maybe you can jump from here like if you do like a sr50 or something but i i i wasn't able to pull it off uh, like in case you, you want to grab the, the supercharge earlier. Okay. But here's a bunch of rockets. Like, I shouldn't have grabbed the Berserk. Could have saved that in case I got hurt. But now we have more peekaboo shooting. I prefer to use the super shotgun here because... You know, there's pinkies and 
You know how pinkies is, and rockets are, especially with, with fast monsters. They like to eat your rockets. So just take, just taking my time here. And clear this area of enemies. Okay, now I think I can use the rocket launcher. And kill the Archie. There's also another Revenant here. Okay, let's, let's wrap up this map. Alright, uh, now I just open this door, another Revenant, I mean Archval, and just exit. That was Book Lords. Alright, let's not linger for too much, for too long, let's move on to the next map. All right, this map. This is also this map is also very tricky here in the beginning. And I already kind of messed up. I I shouldn't have taken too long here. But maybe I can make Oh no. I just kill me already. Okay, what you want to do here is as soon as you start the map, you want to grab the chain gun. So, oh uh, it doesn't really matter if you get hit too much because there's a there's a berserk where that hell knight is. Just don't die. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab the rocket launcher so I can deal with the main goodbye. Now the hell knight. Ah, uh, and there's a there's a mastermind over there. Uh, I hope she doesn't kill me. No. Yeah, you want to grab the the berserk and then the supercharge over there. And don't mind about the the spider mastermind for now. We're gonna deal with her later. As for here. Uh, let's try to make stuff in fight. Oh. Wow, the pinky ate... The pinky ate the, the Arachnotron. That's cool. Usually I make the Arachnotron in fight the Mancubus, but... That works, that works as well. Uh, make a bust. You can die now. Uh, all right. Here's a cool strat. You can make the spider mastermind and the baron in fight. Just poke your head like this, and she's gonna target you. Hit the baron. And the bear is gonna infight the spider mama. So you don't need to worry about her. You do need to worry about these arachnotrons. about the Baron. Oh, now she's targeting me. Oh, the Baron died. That's fine. Those were all the kills already. 
Uh, I need the yellow key. Which is right here, where the Baron was. Nice 3D bridge. Yeah, this map, uh, this map has some nice details. Like, uh, what is what is this thing called? Uh, a crane? I think that's what it's called. There's also a ship there. Like it's simple, but it gets your, it gets the job the job done, right? It's not super high de highly detailed, but it's cool. Okay, here's the last secret. Just wow, 200 health and 200 armor. This map went really well, I gotta say. Oh, you can tell a frag the spider mastermind, but is there another way to get down there? I mean, it wouldn't make much sense if you had to like get this close to to the spider mastermind. I don't know. I'm just rambling. And look, we're going through the portal. Yeah, appara apparently we're gonna travel through time or something, according to the to the text file of Scythe. So let's go. Miss Futura. Okay, let's go to the future. Map nineteen. Oh yeah. Okay, this... Um, so I think we are in some kind of ship, I think? Kind of looks like a ship, I think. Or some kind of tech base, I don't know. As usual, there's a Berserk, so you can heal. And... Mind the Archfall, once again. Up. Let's see... Let's just run. Um, I'm getting hurt way too much here. This is not doing so well. That's okay. Uh, yeah. Think. Yeah, there's a secret here. Yeah, because I, I use dynamic lights, uh, I have dynamic lights enabled in LZ Doom. You can actually see the like these power ups through the walls. You can actually see like a a green glow. I know that's not vanilla, but I think it's really cool. And let me think. Do I want to use that now? I kind of do. Yeah, I think I will. Just to save some ammo, actually, I'm gonna equip the Berserk and just go crazy. Like on these guys here. Uh, 
Nice. Just as a, just as soon as the invulnerability invulnerability ran out, that revenant decided to go into a pain state. Okay. Let me think. I don't like the sound of those arachnotrons trying to hit me. Ow. There's a Baron there. You can make him in, in fight the, the Mancubus, but... It's probably nearly dead. I like the music of this map. Oh, easy there, buddies. So yeah, Scythe is is getting ever more difficult as I go through the maps. And man, this is this playthrough is turning out something really cool, I think. At least for me personally. Uh Yeah, I'm sorry for the obnoxious plasma noise, but I don't want to take any chances in this part. I'm going to take it safe. And here's a nice supercharge, which is not a secret for some reason. Well, I guess it's not very hidden. Okay. Oh, chain gunners, of course. Um, also, remember this archfall here? Yeah, let's take care of him now. Before he scams us. Easy peasy. Also that Baron from the beginning, remember him? That's him. Let's also grab the rocket launcher. Nice. Nice rocket right there.
Damn it. Ah, uh, well. Let's just grab the supercharge. Here's a very satisfying crowd of imps. I mean, very satisfying to kill. They don't really do much. I mean, in terms of in terms of threat. Uh, but yeah, there is an archval now. Let's see what we can do with him. Maybe try to manipulate his AI, like he's try to make him come to the front. He died, right? I think he did. So is this a ship or not? I always thought it was a ship, but now that I think of it, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a a random tech base. I mean, there's no water nearby. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's lower the lower the red bars. And here's Miss Futura back to haunt us. But yeah, she doesn't do much. Just tank tank her damage from a distance. No big deal. And there we go, that's map 19. And it says AD here, but I'm pretty sure that's not the name of the level. Um, I'm going to I'm going to look it up when I'm when I upload the video and write the the video chapters. But I think I think this level is supposed to be called 3000 AD, but for some reason it just it just says AD here in the in the intermission screen. Anyway, let's move on to map 20. Another hot start. Yeah. I like to grab the partial invisibility and make stuff in fight. Usually works. Were those two imps in fighting? Can be, right? I mean, they can fight if they're barrels, but there were no barrels here. Uh, I'm still invisible. Let me grab this super shotgun before I deal with these guys. Okay, let's Grab first the Berserk, of course, to maximize our health, and then the Supercharge. Can I kill that Arachnotron from here? Maybe, but it's really not needed. This music, it's 
It's also in Sunloss, I think. Yeah, I played Sunloss before I played Scythe, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this music, this MIDI also plays in Sunlust. I'm trying to remember what level. Don't really remember. Anyway, uh, how do I lower that again? Uh, oh, there's a switch here. Can I make the Hell Knight go down? That would be very convenient. Uh, maybe not. Okay, uh, yellow key. Can snipe some enemies from here. There's this uh, pinky here. I'm kind of low of ammo. Need to be a little bit careful. A little bit conservative. Yeah, did I miss ammo somewhere? Because. Mm, I kind of need a little bit more. No, I think that's it. Yeah, I had a practice one where I have I had many more shells than this. Uh Like seriously, what <laughs> what did I do with my shells? Yeah, there's going to be a cyber demon here. Oh, I guess there are shells here. And I, I just prefer to use shells on on him instead of battling him with rockets. Yeah, here comes a very annoying fight. Like, it's easy, but I know, sometimes you kind of just lose focus doing this and Next thing you know, you're you're getting rocketed in the face. This fight, as simple as, as it may look, it kind of scares me. Uh, especially now that I have to switch weapons. Okay, but it went well. Okay, but my ammo is is a little bit concerning. Let's see, what, what do I do here? Yeah, there's an arch file in the back and I'm a little bit concerned about my ammo. But I guess this is working, but I need to be careful. I can't just spam rockets like I. Come on, Archie. There we go. No, I'm fine. Man, this video is. It's gonna be really long now that I think of it, because these maps are getting longer. I haven't actually like calculated how how long these maps are, are going to be. 
uh, like how long this video is going to be. But that's it, that's map 20. All kills, all secrets, all items. How do I exit again? <laughs> I kind of forgot. Do I go back? Oh yeah, and this is like the... Like if you, if you know Scythe, you know that the uh, the menu screen is a screenshot of this level. Oh yeah, this is the exit. Oh yeah, and once again, once once there's like a, an episode transition, just like in map 10, there's gonna be like a like a forced pistol start here, which means uh, like there's gonna be a, like a really loud sound, okay? <laughs> so volume warning, lower your volumes, guys. Okay, I need to cross this. And there you go, that was the starport. Another video done. And like I kind of hinted in the middle of the video, man, this map just, just keep, keep getting better. Yeah, like I, I played Scythe some time ago, like some years ago, and I haven't really enjoyed it as much as I'm enjoying this time around. I think it's because of fast monsters. Because um, these maps are pretty trivial, even on Ultra Violence, if you don't have fast monsters enabled, but... But yeah, with fast monsters, there's... You always need to be, need to be careful, you need to be... Uh, like, have good reflexes, have good strategies for each fight. Yeah. I'm really enjoying this. The maps keep, keep getting bigger and more difficult and better. And those five maps I played today were... I really enjoy them. I think they're really good. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video as well. And if you enjoyed it, I hope to see you on, on the next one. For now, that's all I had for today.